Hello, flat earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. I'd just like to use this mobile phone tower as an example of perspective. Uh, just above it, you should see the evening star, Venus. And uh, we know, for example, how to measure the height of that tower by looking at the angle we have to use to view the top of the tower and knowing, measuring first, the distance to that tower from our observation point. Measure the angle and then we can see from the angle and the known distance from us to the tower how tall the tower is. Well, right now, from this position and this angle, we can see that the star is in line with the top of the tower. Of course, its angle will change as it goes away. It will appear to come down and down, and so my angle would have to come down to see where it is. So, of course, the big question is, what's moving? Are we rolling away from it on a ball Earth? Or is the star moving away from us? That's the big question. That's the dilemma. It's as simple as that. What's moving? What's changing that angle of elevation that we have to use from our specific point without knowing any other distances. Do we really know the distance I would have to travel that way in order for the star to be directly overhead? We don't really know. In fact, that has never been done with Polaris or the Southern Cross, as far as I understand. Are there any photographs of anyone at the North Pole or the South Pole looking directly up at those stars? Or do they actually go beyond the points we call the North Pole or the South Pole? If we got to the North Pole or the South Pole, would it turn out that the stars would be on the horizon again and we'd have to carry on walking to get to them? So this is what we mean by perspective. So now, maybe while I'm talking, you see, from the same location, the, the star, or the Earth, has moved. And it's, well, according to perspective and the standard trigonometry we would use to measure the height of something, given a known distance and the angle, then, well, we could just say that the star is further away. That's the dilemma. So you have to think about whether the positions of the stars in the sky actually mean anything significant or not. Is the position of the stars just a result of us spinning aimlessly through space for no reason? Or is the position of the stars something much, much more significant to our existence on this plane? Thank you very much.